Hello, this is James Lockridge, and I wanted to share with you today some resources that might help you should God be calling you into specifically a chalk art ministry. Uh, I, I find that books help me a great deal, and I have found some. I don't know if they're still in print now, but a Christian bookstore might find one. Here's one on uh, hymns and the hymn stories. It gives you the story and then how to draw, what colors to use, uh, some choices of music to put behind your presentation while you're drawing if you can't talk and chew chewing gum at the same time like me. And uh, so this is a helpful little booklet. Uh, there's another one here called uh, Your Chalk Can Talk. And uh, then uh, one by George Sweeting uh, that says how uh, to be a chalk artist. And uh, again, these are step-by-step -step, uh, presentation uh, helps. And uh, I have found these to be very, very helpful to me. And so you might find those or so many others. Uh, I even found that the Bob Ross Joy of Painting series uh, has step-by-step uh, -step instructions on how to oil paint, but perspective, composition, color blending, and, and how to some quick uh, shortcuts on how to make trees or whatever. Uh, you can translate this into art ministry as well, and so these are available at Hobby Lobby and Michaels and places like that. And uh, so you can get ideas from a whole lot of different places. Online, you can find just about anything as well, and I found that Eternity Arts is a good place to go. EternityArts.com. They have a instructional videos for sale uh, that show you step by step how to make specific pictures, how to draw specific pictures. Um, they also have supplies and, and a magazine that helps you to network with other uh, chalk artists to get their ideas and, and things that you can apply to uh, your own ministry. Uh, and so these are just some of the ways. Uh, Alpha Arts is another one out of Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and they have classes up there at Piedmont Bible College uh, on chalk art. And uh, they're usually in March, I think, and you can go up and spend a few days there and draw pictures, get some help from one-on-one, -on -one, you know, with, with uh, professional chalk artists uh, that do such a wonderful job of uh, sharing the gospel through this medium. So if God's calling you, he's got ways that you can be equipped, even if you're not an artist per se. And so I'd encourage you to search out those uh, types of helps uh, in uh, your ministry. If you can find somebody uh, that's, uh, you know, uh, that you can know and talk to personally, that's a, a big help to get that one-on-one -on -one instruction. And if you're ever in the Hudson, Florida area, that's where I'm at. I'd be glad to help you in any way I could. Uh, it's interesting that uh, God has called me because I wasn't an artist. And yet he said, I want you to do this. And he's given me these aids to help me to be able to have a ongoing chalk art ministry. I use a big easel as behind me here with a lighting hood on it. And, and I used home grown types. I made my own the first time I did this and and uh, had to tie it into the to the choir loft uh, to keep it from falling over. It was top heavy and uh, that first night the uh, God gave me some brothers that knew how to make stuff and they made me some homemade jobs that lasted for about 15, 20 years apiece. And, and then finally my mom and dad and my wife got together in my old age and bought me a professional easel that is on a tripod and, and uh, it all folds up into a golf bag so I can even carry it with me uh, on an airplane or whatever. And uh, that's a, a real helpful uh, piece of equipment, but it's very, very expensive. And so uh, uh, I don't know how much you want to invest that, uh, just a, a word, that was $1,500 for that easel uh, with the bag and everything. And uh, so uh, it, it's not cheap. Uh, the, the chalk and everything isn't cheap either. Uh, let me show you some of the chalks that I use. Uh, I found a, a fishing tackle box at uh, Walmart, and uh, it works as a chalk box too. And uh, the chalk is uh, what they call lecturer squares, and it's about an inch by four inches long, uh, and comes in all kinds of different colors. And uh, you can uh, utilize these chalks to uh, 
give your most most of your picture and these are not all that expensive but they're not cheap either and you can't buy them most places uh, most uh, you, you'd have to go to specialized stores or I get mine from Eternity Arts and and they just mail them to me and so that's a big help uh, to be able to do that and then I have chalks that are uh, in, uh, in, uh, that are visible in various colors but they glow under the backlight black light and so these are helpful. If you draw a sunset with these things, uh, and then you turn the black light on and you draw in a dark room, the darker the better, uh, then uh, you draw with these colors and you turn that black light on and boy, it just lights up the sky. And so that's a real wonderful thing. But again, not cheap. Uh, then we have the chalk that is looks white, but the reason I know it's not white is because I can put it under the black light or I can uh, look on the box and it says green. And uh, so I know that if I put this under the black light, it'll be a piece of green chalk. Now, when I lay it all out on my easel uh, tray, chalk tray there in front of my easel to draw with, I have to make sure that I know where I'm putting it because it all looks white. And so I either have to leave it in the box or put it next to a visible color uh, like this green here. This is a black light chalk green, and I might put the two together so that I can know that that piece of white chalk, when I turn on that black light, is going to grow grow uh, glow green and so that's helpful uh, as well and they come in all colors and again it can be purchased through uh, the out, uh, eternity arts uh, some of those sticks are five dollars a piece or uh, even the red I believe is uh, ten dollars for that invisible but you can draw a big white cloud and then draw a skyline of heaven or a face of Christ or or whatever you want in that in that cloud and nobody can see it even standing as close as I am to this camera right now I wouldn't be able to see that picture until I turn the black light on turn off all the other lights and it pops and boy when it does uh, your congregation kind of gets the message you know uh, in a special way uh, I use baby powder to fill in the pores of my skin so that the chalk dust can't get in as well and it makes it easier to clean up after the uh, picture is drawn so I can still fellowship with people and shake their hand and I don't have a black can or whatever from all the chalk dust and this is a very dusty ministry I wear a filter mask on my face now to keep from breathing in all that chalk dust I use a lot of baby wipes uh, to clean up a little bit uh, immediately following uh, my presentation I use hairspray that I get at the Dollar Tree or anywhere you can buy hairspray cheap uh, and uh, it allows you to uh, then be able to uh, preserve your picture. After I finish the picture and I get all my chalk out of the way, because it will cover and put a film on your chalk, but I get all the chalk out of the way, uh, then I can spray the picture with this uh, hairspray, and it doesn't matter what brand or anything. I usually get the super hold or extra hold. And uh, I've been back to places two or three years after I've drawn and uh, my picture to be posted in the church or in somebody's home. Uh, and uh, I could take my finger and wipe it across the picture and not disturb the chalk uh, because uh, of the hairspray. It sets it up and preserves it quite well. And so that's a big help. Uh, for some of the detailed work, I can use little pieces of the big chalk or I can purchase a, 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 a outfit like this, uh, pastels, and they help me to do some of the smaller work. And uh, it, it's good. I, I use taped music behind because I can't, you know, like I said, walk down the street and chew chewing gum at the same time. So I, I set up my picture, what I'm going to draw, and my main thought that I want to present to the people with scripture and a few words, kind of a devotional thought, you might say. And then I sing a song, perhaps, uh, again, cementing this idea. And then I draw, and while I'm drawing, I've got a track that usually contains about six or seven songs on it. It uh, gives me about 20 minutes of time, and I call it pressure art because at the end of the 20 minutes, I need to be finished in, in order to keep things running smoothly. And uh, so I do that, and most of the time it works out. If it doesn't, then it's okay, too. I can still, uh, uh, you know, uh, just let it pause and and uh, wind up uh, ending it, uh, my message uh, in, in with my control. Uh, I usually finish with a song again that sets that thought and that idea in stone, so to speak. But those are just some helpful hints uh, uh, that I hope will help you. Uh, if you would like some more information, you can always contact me. And uh, I just want to tell you, 
God has a plan for you. It might not be chalk ministry, but whatever it is he tells you to do, do it, and you'll be glad you did. God bless. Let his light shine on.